Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to talk about web application project ideas. Let's say if you're learning some new technology like React, and now you learned all the fundamentals, but, and you've done all the homework and everything, but after doing it, if you don't use it for a long time, you will forget about it, and it will all kind of evo evaporate because your brain will pick up something else, and suddenly you think, oh, I wasted a lot of money and time on that technology. I didn't learn anything. And that is because uh, you learned that technology, but you didn't use it. So I would suggest once you learn something, try to use it, build a project and keep adding new functionality to it. And that's how you learn. So today we're going to talk about a bunch of project ideas that you can try on. And these are fun ideas, so something that you can enjoy. Uh, so you can showcase to your friends and families and overall have fun doing it. And welcome to Texit Tutorials. First of all, why do we want to build projects? You will, you are actually building a product in a way, and you will learn more by doing that rather than just randomly doing some examples. Okay. Uh, so you get a whole spectrum of things done in a project. Secondly, you have to plan. You can't just simply start doing, you have to plan, you have to draw the design, you have to think about the data and all that stuff. So that actually train you for a real job. Also, it helps you uh, when you go out for an interview, you can showcase your projects. They can look at your code and know what you know and how you do things. So this will help you get a job. It's almost like a reference in a way. And nowadays it's, it's essential. Whatever you do, you have to put it on a GitHub or somewhere else uh, for people to see so they can they can judge your work. And lastly, uh, if you do something like that, you may get some product idea. Let's say you end up building something very comprehensive. It may, may, may have start, started from some uh, simple ideas, but it could become something complex. And ultimately it becomes a product and you can take it to a next level and sell it or you know make money out of it. Okay, so that is also very important. Uh, one of the simplest idea that I, it comes to my mind, and I always do that, is a to-do list. Uh, it's very simple. It's very standard. Uh, you can build it very easily. You can add a new item to your to-do list. Maybe you can add some dates. On this day, I want to finish it, uh, and things like that. And you can keep adding more functionality. Maybe you can save that list on a server so you can access it from anywhere and things like that. But it's it's probably a, uh, a very simple and widely used project. Uh, the next project comes to my mind is uh, contacts, you know, phone numbers, email addresses, uh, Facebook address, whatever you want to put, right? So you want to create a kind of a profile for each person uh, and it can become your personal contact list. Contact list. Um, you should be able to add a photo to it or uh, add edit the items. So let's say the phone number chain, you should be able to do it. Uh, you should be able to delete it. So let's say if the, that person is no longer important to you, contact list is a little bit more complex and it has a little bit more features. A third idea is you can build your own component library if that is your interest. Uh, a lot of people want to explore more visual part of the UI. Uh, you can build your own component library, your own buttons, your own input boxes, grids, whatever. Okay, uh, it's a good thing because it can be a individual library that people can consume in their project and use it. You should be able to let them customize it. Uh, if you have a button, for example, you should let them who are consuming it, let them change the color, change the size, uh, change the font or whatever, right? Uh, and make it flexible. You can always look at an example of an existing component library and look at the features that they have and try to simulate it. A next project, which is my favorite, is build a game. 
games are fun. Uh, it's it's fun, uh, and it's fun to because we all love games, right? So if it's something more interesting, you will pursue that project more. So I that's why I like games, and one of my favorite game is Tic Tac Toe, which is pretty easy to build actually. Initially build three by three matrix, maybe define a winner uh, instead of X and O. Maybe you can use some symbols. Uh, maybe you should be able to save the game. Uh, let the user change uh, who starts the game. Maybe you, there is a toss or something. I don't know. There are a lot of possibilities with Tech 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 game. There is a Minesweeper game. Remember the old PC game that used to come with it, Minesweeper, where there's a matrix of certain size, and if you click on it, it could be either mine or not, not a mine. And once you hit the mine, you end the game, right? Uh, which is pretty simple game but it has a lot of parts uh, and it's more fun to build. Uh, so I would do that as well. And then there are like Pong, there's a Simon Says, uh, Snake, and then there are tons of games that you can find on internet that you can build. You can build actually a Sudoku, uh, your own Sudoku, which can get a little complex. A lot of times when you go for an interview, uh, they would ask you to build you know, a, a simple game. They may ask you to build a to-do list in an hour uh, I have been asked one time to build Minesweeper in an hour, which is very hard to do unless you already know this, because you have to build the mine, the map, which itself can take a long time because it's a probability. You have to, you know, do a little math and all that stuff. So if you already have built a few of these games, it will become easier for you to, you know, uh, in an interview if it was asked. Uh, another kind is using a pre-built API. The National Weather Service uh, have they have API which you can use to you know get the weather of particular state, city, and things like that. Right, the space is open for you if you once you have the API. So you can build your own little weather application. Uh, similarly, you can build your own YouTube uh, page where you can pick a channel name, maybe pick a couple of channel names to compare the, the, the statistics and stuff like that because some of the data on YouTube channel is open. So you can build uh, using YouTube API. Similarly, you can use GitHub API. So GitHub is open API, uh, which you can use to get uh, data on particular profile. Maybe you can compare multiple profiles to see who, who wins, who has more likes and things like that. Uh, maybe you can build a keyword, let's say React, uh, who has the best best packages that has more followers and more trending. Okay, so you can build something like that. Another type of application you can build is aggregators. Uh, so for example, and they, they can get a little complex. So for example, let's look at a lot of websites provide coupons and they provide actually API to get the data. Okay, they may provide XML or something uh, where you can actually get the data on their coupons. So you can pull all this data from different websites. So you get coupon from different websites and then you can aggregate. So you can make your own portal for all those coupons. And ultimately you can make money from it as well. So you just have to f find all these feeds for each website and then go from there. Uh, you can also build something that a problem that you are having in your life. Uh, let's say you want to track some, some of your accounts. Okay. So you can build, specific to your problem. Let's say if the tool is not available uh, for you, you can build your own tool to solve your own problem. And if you want to build something more complex, uh, you can build clones. So for example, you can say I can build a Facebook clone. So an application that looks like Facebook, but it's your application and you can add features because the, you already know some of the features that are exist in Facebook, you can try to replicate it. I know it's very difficult to replicate everything, but the objective would be to build a small application with few features that your website looks like Facebook or Twitter or Instagram uh, or something like, uh, similar, right? Uh, and you can do it. It takes time, but you should be able to do it. You can build an Uber clone as well if you want to, which requires a little bit more effort. Okay, so that's all about this, folks. Uh, if you have some ideas that you are trying out, feel free to send me. Uh, I would like to know because I'm compiling a list and maybe I can uh, put it in the description so that people can look through it and can build it. So 
whatever idea I get from, from the audience, I'll put it in the description so everybody can share. And I hope you learned something from this video. Uh, if you did, please like, don't forget to like. Like, subscribe, and provide a nice comment. And you can help me translate this video in your native language. It's pretty simple. The information is in the description. And thank you.